one of the biggest losers of this year is the far left. And let me break this down to you. Let me break down to you why the far left has lost in 2020 in so many different ways. First of all, um, we are starting to figure out that a lot of moderate Democrats or, you know, Democrats that have not gone completely insane are getting tired of AOC and the squad. Case in point, AOC was basically blocked by getting a really big committee position because of some moderate Democrats that just did not like her. They said that we don't want her on there. Um, she keeps primarying um, Democrats that are already that already have seats with more far left candidates and, and they keep on losing. So even they're getting tired of her. Second of all, so there's a Biden administration, right? There's going to be an upcoming Biden administration. The far left has exerted zero pressure on this Biden administration to appoint people that are on the far left in, in high profile, more important positions in the cabinet. So this is this Biden cabinet is going to be, you know, a bunch of swamp, uh, a bunch of Obama era swamp creatures and, and some Democrats are maybe not as far left as the squad. So they are being frozen out um, right then and there. This is the year that their slogan, the, the darling slogan, slogan of the far left, which was defund the police, got Democrats destroyed. Um, they damn near lost their House uh, majority. So they lost so many seats in the election because so many real people um, in America look at something like defund the police and they say that this is insane and this is destructive. And those people are looking at the far left, they're looking at AOC, they're looking at the squad, and they are saying that these people are dangerous and they are destructive. And people are starting to realize that AOC may have a lot of influence on Twitter, and, the, and she may have a lot of influence on the cover of Vanity Fair, and, and the Holly weirdos may love her, and MSNBC may love these people and all of that stuff, and like, that's great for getting them famous and getting them to make a lot of money and all that stuff, because you know they will all be rewarded very handsomely by Hollywood when this is all over. But regular people are tuning out. Regular people don't care. Regular people are starting to open their eyes to the crazy of the far left, and that is a great thing. Um, nobody can can look uh, and sit here at the end of 2020 and say that the far left made inroads on anything this year. As a matter of fact, they lost a lot of ground in all of these ways that I just told you about, and probably a whole lot more that I don't even have time to tell you about. So if you are discouraged, if you are demoralized on the right, if I can give you any sort of solace and any sort of comfort, it is that the far left and their influence have completely, if not totally, waned over 2020. They got used and abused, and now they're basically re reduced to just kids screaming on Twitter. And you know what you do to kids that are having a temper tantrum? You put them in a corner. And that's what the American people did to the far left this year.